Hi guys, as we all know, the NSAS protests and subsequent unrest came with a lot of strong emotions that has impacted team and businesses. So, was your business affected directly or indirectly by the violence? Or do you know anyone whose business or team was affected? You can let us know how you or this person was affected by putting a comment in the comment section below. We would like to know the impact this has had on your business and staff morale. How were you able to take care of your mental health and keep your team members motivated and productive? Please share with us in the comment section and also include the state the business is based in. If you are not affected, but would still like to be part of this conversation, just type not affected. So today, I'm going to be sharing five tips on how to keep your team motivated and productive during and after this crisis. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Tip one, understand that most people react differently. There is no universal response to emotion. Some team members might be sad, angry, or even numb. Give them time. They need to go through their emotions and if you observe an employee expressing extreme emotion, reach out. Tip two, listen. The theme of the demonstration has been to provide a platform to voices who feel unheard. Let your employees know you are available to listen to them, speak openly and freely. Don't focus on saying the right thing, just ask how you can help. Tip three, encourage a dialogue among employees. Having a respectful conversation about the unrest can strengthen empathy between team members and allow them to get things off their chest. This can help motivate and strengthen their morale. Tip 4. Volunteering and Donations There are a lot of social justice organizations seeking donations. You can make a donation as an employer on behalf of your team or encourage the staff to contribute as well. Tip 5. Take care of yourself. You might be so focused on supporting your staff and community that you neglect yourself. But if you don't do some self-care, it will be very difficult to continue providing support to others. Share your self-care tips with your team and encourage them to practice them. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and remember to apply these tips as often as possible. You can turn on our post notification so that you don't miss out on more helpful information, tips and guides to increase your productivity and profitability. Thank you for watching.